Today we're going to be doing buffalo hides. Buffalo hides originated. Um, they're from the Native Americans. Um, maybe some of you don't know what buffalo hides are. But they come from buffaloes. It's uh, the skin of the buffalo. The Native Americans, when they killed buffaloes, they used every part of it. And they used the skin as paper or as a big cloth to do certain things or paintings on them. I have samples here. This one is a buffalo hide. As you can see, it's the skin of the buffalo. And this is something that usually the women's wore. They were different from the men's. The women's had patterns on them. As we can see, the patterns, as we see in this one, the pattern um, circle and then maybe little brown triangles here. And that's what they would do. They would do patterns on them. And the men's, they would, um, men was a little bit different because men used to, especially the tribe leaders, they used to write stories on their buffalo hides. Um, they would choose an event from the whole year and they would make a picture of it. And as we see here, uh, this is an example I got from the internet and we see that it's the horses in here, the little houses, and maybe um, the leader tribe that did this, he was trying to show or explain a war or an encounter they had. Um, as we can see right here, this is a buffalo hide that little, a little girl is wearing. Maybe her dad um, did it for her, but we see that it had different patterns. And it had pictures here. Um, I don't know if you're able to tell the pictures, but they're like little buffaloes. We see little mountains here, and there's patterns down here. So they would do them, and then they would use them kind of like a poncho, but they were made out of buffalo skin. Today we're going to, um, these are samples, so today we're going to go ahead and do our own. We're going to be using this um, buffalo hide. I went ahead and scrunched it just to give it a texture and for it to look scrunched up like this one does. I decided to go ahead and um, do a buffalo hide that maybe a woman or a little girl would wear because of the patterns because that's easier for me to do now. But before I start doing it in the actual um, buffalo hide um, sample, I want to go ahead and do some patterns here and then just to see how they look before I put them in the actual paper. We're going to start by doing a little circle in the middle. We can go ahead and just shade the, the circle. In mine, I'm going to go ahead and do circles around it. And I know I used the same color twice, but we can go ahead and use... Um, different color. I want to go ahead and do a circle here and we're going to go ahead and make the other circle around that circle and we're going to shade this one. I chose the greens and the blues but you can go ahead and choose any color you want. I chose those, those colors because I like um, how those colors contrast each other. We're going to go ahead and shade this and that's why I think it's better if you do it on a piece of paper before you do it in the actual buffalo hide. Just because if you make any mistakes here, then you already know what mistakes they're here so you won't make them in the actual paper. So we're going to go ahead and get another color and make circles. We're going to get another color. And we're going to do the same thing and maybe, you know, do the circle around it. And we're going to go ahead and shade it. This is the last one I'll do just because so we can start doing it. And you can use any pattern you want. Triangles, lines, swirls, whatever you want. I'm just using this because I know it would be easier for second graders and third graders. You know, to do shapes instead of doing maybe a harder... Um, pattern or design. Okay, so we're going to get our paper now. Our actual paper. I want to start with the color aqua red. And we're going to um, go ahead. I'm going to start by doing a circle in the middle. I want to go ahead and I'm going to shade it really dark. 
And then after that, I'm going to use light blue color. I'm going to start making little circles around it. Maybe this color outside. Try to make the circle as neat as you can. Because this is the one. This is your actual buffalo hide. So we're going to go ahead and shade it in. And you don't have to shade it in if you don't want to. I'm just shading it in because that's the pattern I want. And as we can see, I'm just um, getting... Trying to, you know, to do kind of the same as the example we saw on the buffalo hide that woman wore back then. I'm going to use another color. We're going to use this one. I'm going to do one more. And you see here, then, you know, you can just keep on doing that. Repeating the patterns. You can do just one big pattern or you can do little ones. So I hope you like the demonstration and make your own buffalo hide.